My views about firearms seems to be changing a bit again. I often was kind of going with what many of the right-wingers were saying about the Second Amendment. But the more I've been reading about the Second Amendment, the more it really does seem like we don't really know what the real intention of the Second Amendment was. There are so many people now that are quoting old documents from the period and showing what some of the attitudes were of the period. And it just sort of seems that the Second Amendment was put into place to make sure slavery can continue. Now there are many interpretations of the Second Amendment, but as more interpretations like that seem to come out with a lot of backing based on, you know, documents and just people's writings of what the attitude was at the time, I'm just kind of thinking, well, that's kind of messed up, if that's really the case. All right, I think, I, at this point, I'm just thinking, you know, we should look into the mental stat status of the people trying to get weapons. There should be a waiting list. There should be a lot of restrictions put on people's ability to just go out and buy them. You shouldn't be able to go to some gun show and just, oh, look, I bought a gun, you know. Another thing is how police don't seem to be using them responsibly anymore. There's this trend of people not wanting to take chances on anything. Everything's about playing it safe. You can see this all over the place in our culture. Companies. There are very few companies that are willing to do things that, that take chances. It just seems to sort of permeate throughout so much in our culture. And I think uh, the way that police are being trained now is kind of the same way. You know, people should expect that being a police officer is a dangerous job, but when we're allowing them to just shoot first and think later, and we're somehow finding this acceptable, is their job really as dangerous as it used to be? It almost seems that if you work at a 7-Eleven or something, some little convenience store, that that job is more dangerous than a police officer's nowadays. If we're not going to train police properly in how to de-escalate a situation, and it's just going to be a thing of, well, uh, this situation could get bad, let's get out our guns, let's point, let's point our gun at someone. You know, if that's the way that we're teaching de-escalation, then, yeah, maybe we should take away the guns from most police officers and just have it where, oh boy, this wind is going to make it kind of hard to hear. Um, or maybe we should take away guns except for very, very specific police officers who are very well trained in uh, de-escalating things. And the rest of the officers, you know, maybe shouldn't have uh, lethal weapons. The real answer is to train our police properly, but that doesn't seem like that's going to happen. So what do we have left? Um... As far as guns, I definitely think people should have the right to defend their homes. People should be able to have a rifle in their home. But 
I think for a lot of other things, I'm just starting to head towards the route of, you know, maybe we really need to start cutting back on them. My main arguments in the past have been that the gun nuts aren't going to let us put any sort of restrictions on guns at all. But if I'm going to go that route, I mean, should I go the route of, well, we sh well, you know, the fundamentalist Christians aren't going to let us uh, legalize gay marriage. The fundamentalist Christians aren't going to let us do this or that. So we should just give in to their, to their, uh, we should be at the mercy of them. And if, if we're, <laughs> I just, you know, it just makes me question a lot of this stuff, you know? I don't know, I, I think we shouldn't be at the mercy of fucked up people. I don't know. I haven't really taken a full stance on this yet, but I just know that it's it's in flux now. And for quite a while it wasn't in flux. So, anyway. Ten years ago I would have probably said that that house is really ugly. The color of that. But you know, how our views of that sort of thing changes, I think that looks pretty good.